Hey guys, real quick before we get into today's video, I want to tell you guys thank you so much to everybody who has supported us and helped us out by buying merch in the last freaking few weeks. It's been incredibly helpful whenever it comes to making crazy videos for you guys and just doing things bigger than what we have been able to. And we want to come up with some new hashtag, shout out those people who really help us out. And we've used our hashtag DLS fan before. I'm not really sold on that. I want to come up with a new hashtag that's a little bit cooler. So if you guys want, help me out, comment down below, give me a new hashtag. But basically the way that it's going to work is we're going to have a hashtag. If you post a picture with wearing DLS merch in any form, fashion, whatever, and you post it on Instagram to your feed and we see it, we're gonna shout you out. So first off, I wanna say thank you so much to Carla Diaz. She has posted multiple times wearing DLS stuff and it's really cool to see you guys helping us get DLS out there more and I really appreciate it. Really helps a ton. Also, I just wanna remind you guys that we have right now going on for the next 12 hours or if you're a channel member and you saw this early, you're probably seeing it the night before, but anyway, 12 hours or for channel members about 24, uh, you've only got that amount of time left left until our double entry session is over. And plus right now for the next 12 hours, not only are you getting double entries, but every single order that we ship out while supplies last get free key tags. So go grab your free key tags, get double entries. Don't forget every dollar spent on the site is gonna get you automatically entered in to win either this 2010 Camaro Pro Charge SS or that. 2012 Nissan GTR Black Edition. But anyways, that's all. I just wanted to let you guys know, double entries, free key tags with every order right now, next 12 hours. Go click the link down below, become a channel member, post more about us, and go grab your merch. Get entered in to win these two cars, and let's go get back to today's video. What the hell is this? Just a little street car, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, I knew I would get memed if I trailered this thing over here. So here I am, I drive it How are you getting it home if you're oh gonna blow God. this thing up? Do what? How are you getting it home if you plan on blowing it up? I got a trailer. And we will blow it up. If we don't make what we want to make, we're gonna blow it up. So Sean came over today and decided that uh He's gonna bring his Corvette and break our dyno record. But the, the catch to this, because if you look at the car at face value, you'd be like, of course it would. I mean, look at this thing. Of course it would take the dyno record. The dyno record is literally only 1125. But the fun part is, what motor's in here? That's a stock bottom end 5.3. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's uh, stock rods, stock crank, Stock pistons, 5.3 from GM. It does have head studs and main studs, but uh, Modern Airflow Dynamics actually put this motor together for us. And uh, they said it's it's rated for some boost, so GM stuff's pretty good. GM stuff's pretty good. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that's, that's an example of GM stuff being pretty good. <laughs> what size turbo we got on here today? Actually, look, let's just start over from the beginning because this car hasn't been seen on this channel literally in okay. years, it All feels right. like. So it's just front to back. Okay. If you guys first off have not seen Sean's channel, go check it out. Long story short is he has been building the ultimate drag car, ultimate stick shift drag stick car shift. for like, what, two years now almost? Yeah, almost two years. And legend has it that he's going to beat Cletus McFarlane um, and take his time from him and take the record for stick shift Corvette. Say hey, that on the internet. Well, I mean, if we look at this I'm, rear I'm, end. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Hold on. Let me let me just say something. The only reason I say that is because he is the man to beat. So yeah, you yeah. can't get mad because he's the one that is going fast. He's yeah. the target. Hey, like. he, he's the one that's going fast. <laughs> hey, you're the target, man. We're well, honestly, like the most special part about this car is what me and Taylor Thurston did, and that's the rear end. It's all straight axle. So it's a Fab 9, straight axle, radiators in the back. Yeah. It's hilarious because it is literally like an F-body setup. The trans is in the front. They cut the trans tunnel that really didn't even exist. It was a torque tube tunnel, and now it's a trans tunnel that got fabbed up. Screw all that IRS stuff. Everybody hates, <laughs> everybody hates IRS problems. Facts, actually. Yeah. So now he's got a big ass straight axle in the back of this thing. Yeah, rocking a T56 from Tick Performance. It's a faceplate T56. If I take that panel out right there, then you can actually see the drive shaft and the transmission are all right there. So hey, the only thing that that uh, I have yet to do is put seat belts in this thing. Good. What yeah. size turbo? This is a 91 104. <laughs> so they couldn't, you couldn't get three digits? The exact <laughs> man, honestly, <laughs> cool. get out of here. I really Look, want three digits. Like for size comparison, what fuel are we running on today? We're on, we're on M1. We're on straight methanol today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, 
I still street drove it here. I don't want to hear nothing. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't even. By know. the way, Taylor is the guy, the fab guy, who fabbed up first off the Miata's downpipe from Meep. He also coyote swapped the first gen Camaro. And he's the man in charge of this Doing the turbo masterpiece kit. of hey, a turbo he did kit. The four link in the back too. He oh yeah, forget the about that. He did the turbo kit. The he, fuel he, tank. he built this fuel tank right here. Yeah, that's, that's the fuel. That's he the fuel. even engraved my logo next shift on the cap. Check out the radiator in the back. Yeah, in case you guys didn't see, there's a fucking turbo larger than a five gallon bucket hanging off the front, so you can't fit a radiator or AC condenser. So I wouldn't call this a street car per se, but it's got a radiator in the back though. Yeah. That is the radiator fuel cap right there. <laughs> Whatever you need to add coolant, you just crack that lid right there and pour your coolant in there. CO2 wastegates like we just now yeah. went to. On the GT350. Hey, I brought this just in case I needed we'll it. We'll need today. two more of those, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at the cage place. in this thing. Yeah, man. Top End Fab actually did the cage and they knocked it out of the park. They did a really, really awesome job on the cage. This Parachute is, on the back of this thing like it needs it. This You're is my first it. attempt at like an actual fast car. So we have not even taken this thing to the track. So, funny enough, like I said, Sean is here today with this car to try and take the dyno record, which was 1125 horsepower to the wheel, except for the difference was is that I had a fully built motor capable of 2,000 plus horsepower and Sean brought a stock 5.3. What so, do you think it's going to make today? 880. Max. Eight, 880 max. Before it blows up. Well, actually not, because it's a fresh built engine. So it'll probably, actually, you're probably right. It'll probably touch up there, but it's not going to last, I don't think, more than like maybe a day or two. All right. Well, time to see what happens. Sean's waiting on his tuner to get here still, so that way he doesn't blow it up before then. And then uh, we're going to put it on the dyno and see what it makes. I think I'm more excited to dyno your car than I've ever been to dyno any of mine. And I think the reason why is because this is the first time that if something fucks up, it doesn't follow me, and I get to laugh about it. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm really hoping it stays together today. My injectors are gonna max out around 1300, 1350. Engine's gonna max out at about 800. -ish. I think, <laughs> honestly, I'm gonna bump that 1150 mark and be like, all right, we're we're done here. Like, we'll so, see. Oh, so good. the engine is filled with concrete. Oh no, yeah, it's not. It's not, it's half not, filled. It's not that one. It's half filled. Half filled. Sorry, my bad. There's yeah. still concrete. It's halfway full of concrete. It's halfway full of concrete. Blocks cement. Yeah. You said it was built for boost. So does that and mean so just that, concrete or a thicker head gasket? Right. No, built for boost, meaning the rings have been gapped for boost. All, all the bearing tolerances are a little bit looser uh, to make things live, so that you know it has a little bit thicker sheet of oil for everything to float on and give a little bit. Other than that, it's head stud, main stud. So stock rods and pistons. Stock as rods, in stock bottom end, and crank. Because yeah. I know when stock LS guys say stock crank. bottom end, it's usually like 20% stock. The only thing not stock about this motor is just the fasteners that hold it together, and it's got a stage three Ryan Tooley racing boost cam, and the different bearings. And the different rings. Well, I mean, Baron's Baron. <laughs> and, 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 and the different rings. So, another stock LS guy here again. Another <laughs> stock <laughs> LS guy. Hey, hey. Man, you know what? say it's stock rods and pistons. People understand that. Stock internals. All right, you ready to pull this thing up here? Yeah. for you and you yeah. particular don't let him talk because right. he, he likes to do that but question for you alone is what do you think that this realistically is going to make before it blows up or you think it'll, it won't blow up at all it honestly depends if fueling and shit stays stable it could make 1200 apparently he's trying to beat our dyno record of 1125 so i mean <laughs> The, the dyno is just a tool, it's just a number, but. Oh my god. <laughs> you out of shit you only come out of your mouth. You are only number. saying that because they're here now. <laughs> it's got enough turbo, it's got enough fuel. We'll see if the shit inside inside stays inside. I'm a diehard chivalry man, but that mm -hmm. is I like to see cool shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. That was really just the whole purpose of it was more or less just to make something cool and unique. It wasn't to piss anybody off. It was just more of this car was like, kind of like you were talking about with your, your car and everything. It, this is super sentimental to me since I was born. It's been in my life. So I wanted to keep it around, do something unique with it, make it mine. So yes, and I'm down with it. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. I don't care what anybody, and you videoing this, I am a diehard Chevrolet man, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Any final words for this poor thing? RIP. That's it? Nah, I was joking. It's honestly gonna, it's gonna prosper in peace. P.I.P.
literally just went like. No, we gotta do it back. 586? That's the first methanol car we've done yeah, in here, and I'll tell you, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? Hello, we come bearing guests. <laughs> it's the delivery man. Hey, guess what? I got some things. Ooh. Oh, those are slick. Oh, snap. Damn. What you think, bro? Those look pretty damn good, to be honest. So these are the new McLaren's wheels. Well, the McLaren's new wheels. Or the new McLaren's new wheels. Same thing. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see them. They look like a, a also a, a not, not black. black. Yeah, like they're dark, but I can't tell. They, they look. Dark. It looks like a gray almost. Yeah, they're actually like a darker gray. That's pretty sick though. Yeah, they're not black. That's yeah, really cool. Pretty I'm actually surprised because it matches this it matches color. It looks really good. Very perfectly. Damn, this might look real good. Hell yeah. Damn, Damn, what a perfect time to plug this. So Junior and Rob, this is a. This, I'm not even gonna explain the full story, but they left at 5 a.m. this morning because they had to go pick up these boxes of said merch. So these are our new designs that are out on the site right now. If you guys want to go grab them, click the link down below or go to www.itsjust6.com or wait, Excuse nope, that's me. the wrong thing www.dls. But anyways, while they were in Dallas, it was really kind of funny how it worked. I was looking for McLaren wheels, and all of a sudden I come across these, and they happened to be in Dallas. It was the only sale on Facebook Marketplace, period, for sale. And it just so happened to be in Dallas, and they just so happened to be going to Dallas. So I was like, eh. And now I got some wheels. We don't know if it's going to make 15 or 30 pounds of boost. We're just kind of uh, learning on the fly here. It should make some more boost this time and make a little bit more power, too. Hey, do we have enough fuel to make a hit? Yeah. It is a valid question. Methanol disappears pretty fast. <laughs> Well, we made more power, that's for sure. Yep, belt came off, actually. Yep. Oh, seriously? Yep. Yeah. Belt's off. I thought you went to turbo, so that way you didn't have this problem. John's dyno session is proving to be a little bit more complicated than he thought, so I'm changing wheels. Get that out of here. You don't I'm need sad, that. really, honestly, because these are like the best tires ever for this car, but whatever. We get to test fit for the first time the new wheels. I have been waiting for this literally since I bought this car. This was like the only thing that I was excited about about the car. Not really, but like one of the biggest things I was excited to do was just wheels. Because wheels make such a big difference on cars. So now we're going to go from a stock, ugly looking, not really, but ugly looking wheels on the McLaren to hopefully some better looking ones. Oh yeah. Hello. Are they going to do a go? I'm going to clean the hubs up real quick. You just spray yourself in the face? Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. Attempt number two. <laughs> well, that one was a little spicier. Woo! A little spicy in there. Holy shit. <laughs> Methanol burns. Methanol Ouch. burns. Ouch. Ouch. I like Ouch. It. Ouch. You struggling there, bud? Very much so, actually. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Just that powder coat looks like. Trying to other wheel. You ever have your uh, McLaren on a hand jack in the parking lot? Sanding down the hubs. <laughs> <laughs> I like how simple there it goes. Yeah, that, that was it right there. It's They're really back. just like exactly machined. Once yeah. I cleaned them off, it literally was like boop. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Chief. Monster trucking. All right, let's see what one side on the ground looks like. You still can't even hardly. It looks so weird right now with it in the air. Yeah. The inside of this hub was painted, and the other three were not, so. Yeah. Got to grind this one down a little bit. Yeah, that's what this car will sound like soon. Yeah. Play the clip. Spoiler alert. Because you know it'll be done by then. <laughs> oh, it will. <laughs> so yeah, the hubs on these, for some reason on the inside of the hub, just this one wheel uh, was painted too far down. And so it was catching and not letting us actually seat the wheel all the way to the hub. And now it's almost dark. I was hoping that we were going to get this done so you guys could see the wheels on the car in the daylight. Also, in case you guys are wondering where the center caps are, uh, the wheels were used and the guy didn't have the center caps at the shop that we picked them up from. We got to get the center caps shipped here. He's going to ship them out. You don't need spacers where we're going. To the moon. DME to the moon. DME. Derek, how much Dogecoin do you have? None, because Robin Hood won't let me buy it. <laughs> We're in the home stretch, and it's almost dark. I'm rushing. No, that's Rob. Yes, sir, but I lost you, but oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm American. Move that bus. Hey, 
That's a nice change. Dad, can I borrow twenty dollars? Yeah, it's in my Come truck. Come on, man. It's in my truck. The store. <laughs> it's in my truck. You look like you're at the place where I usually am whenever I'm ending a video, and I really don't want it to end that way. God, <laughs> man, that is exactly where I'm at. Welcome to YouTube. I know yeah, you welcome just to YouTube. It to your camera, but I don't even know what happened because I've been doing here. wheels. Very unfortunate day here at uh, six. <laughs> Damn, y'all are all in the six comments probably seven. already like, wasn't gonna break the dining. I right told here. you it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> can I at least get a redemption? Of course. You can have as many tries as you want. All right, because. At the current moment, we made 722 all the way turned down on the first wastegate spring that we had in there, which is six what, pound spring. And then six pounds, it made how much? 722. No shit. But yeah, well, it actually it was at eight pounds, so it was making two pounds over. So it made 722 at eight pounds. That's not bad. No, it's gonna make a lot of power. Like, don't get yeah, me wrong. That's actually but, impressive. I mean, despite the fact that there's a five gallon bucket hanging off of the front of that thing called a turbo. But. <laughs> <laughs> this is our problem today: is we have a regular Bosch style sensor as our O2 sensor and normally you use the NTK that? sensor for that at least that's what Holly uses and stuff like that which is the only thing with any of us are really familiar with so in layman's terms basically the wrong sensor is in there and the AFRs are not able to be read so, so we're shooting for like a 4.3 AFR well it can't go lower than a 4.6 so we're in a really wide open throttle it's reading 4.6 flat and it's like uh, and it's not even telling us so we're thinking oh it's lean so we're adding fuel to it that's, that's why I got so that's, rich that last that's why it broke up on the like last that. yeah because it broke up like crazy which is a good thing at least we didn't blow it up oh because, shit okay luckily it, it wasn't on the top end of that yeah. you're like oh it's too fat lean it out <laughs> <laughs> yeah that could have been really bad that's kind of where we're at we're going to try to get a can based uh o2 sensor which is what they said that i need or we're going to try to yeah <laughs> can't say that send it or try to what you got any friends at Huge thanks to Rustin coming all the way from Arkansas. He's got Riverside Racecraft. Man really knows what he's doing. He's actually uh, figured the Pro A5 stuff out really quick for never messing with it before. Uh, he's built cars up there, does a lot of tuning, everything else. We're going to be back. We're going to make all the power on this dyno. We are going to break the record. So I'm going to come back and make y'all <laughs> y'all eat y'all's words. Man. I, hope, I really hope you do. I hope I, you This is come time here. number two this thing's been on the dyno in two years of me hearing how fast and how much power and how much hey, this and that. But here it is. I've been talking your head off for a long time. You have. You how yep. bad this car is. <laughs> and it is. It's it looks bad. like it is. It's bad. Yes. It's it is. Bad. Not yet. <laughs> Real bad. It's Real bad it's, at putting numbers on the dyno. It's, 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 <laughs> we're only messing with you because we love you, Sean. I know. Oh. You got there, bud? Some new tail lights. Oh, they smoke, huh? Yeah. They smoke. They got that red circle on them. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Super bright backup lights in there. And everything's LED. Ooh. <sighs> So here in just a second, um, Mr. Shmi150. Uh, he is a YouTuber, I believe, from the UK, I think. Mm -hmm. um, huh? Shmi150. He apparently picked up a GT500 in the US, and he is about to arrive here. And he's been making like cross-country trip, I guess, in the new GT500, stopping at different YouTubers. And so I guess we're today. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Holy oh my cow, this thing doing? is beautiful. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hello, very nice to meet you. Hey, guys. Oh, nice to meet this you too. Daniel and Andrew. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you all. Wow, what a car. <laughs> Likewise, these two together are pretty cool, aren't we? 2,000 miles in. Really? So we went up to Atlanta from to Miami, up to Atlanta, then across. But yeah, it's just the beginning still. Yeah, how are you liking it so far? Yeah. But the first time for me driving across the states in nine years. Yeah. So it's and it's the first time going through. First time in Mississippi. First time in well Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. So oh, well, heck yeah! You're not missing much. <laughs> well, I made an Instagram story saying obviously heading to uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. Yeah. I didn't really know anything around here, and a few people suggested there were certain like your name came up when oh, you guys yeah. came up like hundreds of people, obviously <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of people. Well, I'm gonna come check out the shop if you want to. Yeah. Pick up this car here, or did you have it shipped here? Uh, no, I bought this in Miami. Really? So cool. I picked it up two weeks ago. I spent the first week getting PPF and fitting, installing the stripes. <laughs> I set off on Monday, la no Tuesday last week, with no miles on the clock, and now we're at 1,900 and something. Wow. It's a good way to break it in. Yeah. <laughs> and then, no uh, kidding. We head from today over to uh, Houston to go visit Hennessy. 
So tomorrow we're going to do some drag races. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, going to yeah. be exciting. I've got some cars, nothing that you're probably used to seeing, but... I, I've seen some bits and pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, the twin turbo GT350. The car that was built for a show that didn't take part in the show that's now been replaced by something electric. That's, that's correct. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, exactly right. Quick that summary. Exactly right. So this car no, I was... Watched, I watched the video, you just uploaded it, so oh, okay. I got I the got backstory. Yeah, yeah, it's been in the US now for two months or so, wow, which is okay. flying by, um, because right now being in Europe pretty shut down you yeah. can't do anything fun yeah so we set up base more or less in Miami I had the plan that I'd go and buy a GT500 okay and drive across the country and we're gonna take about five or six weeks or so as we go yeah that sounds and, awesome so I'm surprised by how few there are around especially how few carbon track pack cars are around definitely so because yeah. there are not many at all like I, I specifically wanted a bright color carbon track pack so yeah. green or orange or whatever and there were like three in the country this was the only one with the delivery miles so i was like it's done the stripes <laughs> definitely made it look a lot better too i definitely think that was a great idea the stripes woke it up a lot oh, wow. yeah. this is really one of the first times i've seen under here we, we were joking that the gt500 is basically like twenty thousand dollars worth of mustang plus ten thousand of carbon wheel ten thousand carbon weight <laughs> and the rest is the engine that's pretty much it <laughs> yeah, it really is so this is running mental power right yeah this one is pretty <laughs> understatement this is it 1100? Um, it made, it was turned down still, but it made 1124. So uh, we've gotten to turn it up a little bit past that on the street. It should realistically, um, it should make about 1300 to the wheel. So it's probably about 1450 to the crank or so. And so this is the track pack variant of the GT350. So yeah. this one weighs about 3,680 pounds. So if you can imagine that same platform, but just a little bit over double the power to the wheel, <laughs> that's what this thing is like. It is an absolute handful. Get it, Daniel. Say it's not cold. It's not cold. Sorry, bro. Now I probably need another tank of fuel. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about it? The sheer Americanness of it <laughs> coming from the European. Yeah. The fact that it makes absolutely no sense that a Mustang has that much power. Yeah. And, and <laughs> like when you put your foot down, it's just you know, like I say, in the short accelerations, it's like it just doesn't fit with this car. Do you know how to drive a manual? I'm British. <laughs> Do you like to drive that car? Got... <laughs> you want to sure. drive it? Yeah, for You're sure. Interesting. Interesting. Have you ever driven uh, one of the newer ones? Or the 1LEs at least? Nope. Ooh, really? They're, oh, okay. they're fascinating. Yeah, that's, that's something actually you can the only Camaros I've ever driven are the bog standard. Is, is it a four cylinder, six cylinder? I don't know. That car it, is insanely cool. It really is. It handles, it has the same, if not better handling as that car, but it's just a manual. I think my uh, Camaro experience prior to today uh, is basically the V6. That is so sad. <laughs> I am so sorry. No worries. It's getting sorted out today, so that's the important thing. Absolutely. Here we are then. I mean, you you haven't had this for very long. Have you? I haven't. I've had this for two mo a month, a month to two now. Not too long at all. Done much driving with it, or? Yeah, I've actually driven this thing uh, six thousand miles now since I bought it. Good effort. So not too too bad. No, not considering <laughs> six weeks, six thousand miles as you do. Yeah, I drive my car is probably too much. I stay driving. Well, I guess you uh, same kind story. of in the same. Yeah. Something else is kind of interesting about these cars. I don't know if you knew, but being manual, um, it's got auto blip downshift. Yeah. So if you're on the track and you're braking and yeah. you're coming into a corner really tight, can you have it? Can actually it'll downshift for you can you have it in the sportiest or track setting and disable that if you want to yeah you can just like that oh perfect you hear a lot more of the supercharger in here even just gentle accelerations <laughs> than you do in the gt500 and of course it's manual and as you downshift <laughs> it will rev match for you so <laughs> and it packs a punch yes <laughs> definitely not the slowest car by any means no that's that's cool that sounds good <laughs> just enough to where you can feel what the car does and how it reacts and then I'd like you to drive it on the way back. Empty road ahead. Well, almost. Almost. A bit of snow on the ground. On, on Toyos. <laughs> <laughs> let's, Dang, let's... I wish we could get on some roads that don't have any snow. Yeah, that, that would definitely be the, uh, the dream right now. This is not what we would call ideal. Wow. Well, this bit of road is closed. But these, <laughs> these conditions, you don't have this often, do you? No, this is something that we get, funny enough, the last time that we had a hard freeze to the size that we've had recently was a uh, hundred years ago. 
Well, oh. so this is extremely uncommon. Uh, it's a polar vortex, believe it or not, that came down and kind of swept its way through the whole country here. Super uncommon, and you just came in the perfect time. Yeah, today, well, <laughs> the snow beside the road looks pretty. Right. Would you like me to hold and film for you? I would love you to. I'll give you this in just one second. Okay. Here we go then, taking it easy. I think this is the first time I've ever driven a car on Toyo tires. Really? In my life. Obviously <laughs> quite common out here, but with us getting these weather conditions much more frequently over in Europe, people would tend to kind of avoid the more drag right. focused tires. Yeah, these are actually one of my favorite tires. It feels good. It's a nice short throw on the shifter. Definitely so. Into active rev matching. Yeah, that will go. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's drop it down. Third gear, second gear, put down a little bit. <laughs> Oh, he's three-wheeling. I don't want to hit my own car. <laughs> that would be the definition of stupid, taking <laughs> if I reversed your car into my car. It would make for a good video. It would make for a great Life of Palos video. Yes, YouTuber yeah. crashes YouTuber's car. <laughs> this thing got dirty, son. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it turns out that literally we went for a quick drive, hopefully to get on some curves, and we get out there, and it's just snow everywhere still yeah. and I was like well that's not gonna work it's like it's it's warm out like it's I know it is hot enough to where I want to take the jacket off but apparently not hot enough to melt uh, gobs of snow hanging out on the roads so. we're gonna take out the GC500 now Gavin's gonna drive it I've got to do my compulsory stop now. remote start we don't have this in Europe you can't do that in Europe remote start yeah really I own 30 something cars but this is my first car that can do that wow <laughs> that is crazy I mean, I don't know if there's anything different about this to your cars, but same with the mode selectors and stuff. And Yeah, the only thing that is different is this weird thing here. The DCT. <laughs> I've never driven an automatic Mustang like this before. Really? Never. Not even a, a standard auto, nothing, nope. just... Gavin's yeah, driving an automatic Mustang. Whack! What? sounds weird. Yeah, it does. See, this feels foreign to me because I'm so used to being in the same cockpit except for not shifting. Yeah. So it's, it's <laughs> very strange. The gearbox is really good. I mean, yeah, okay, you lose something by not having a manual, but as DCTs go, the combination of this massive engine with those shifts. Right. You know, it's... European muscle cars, you could say, but first American muscle car I've owned. I didn't even know also, that. Like I say, we don't really get them in Europe. Wow. This, the latest generation Mustang was the first Mustang you could buy in Europe. Really? Yeah. Okay. No, but I think in many ways these two cars are really similar in the sense that they're fairly comfortable. Right. While having lots of power, making lots of sound, and obviously big supercharged V8s. Cornering it. Instantly matches and fires up the engine. Interesting. Yeah. How are you liking it so far then? I truly thought that being an automatic, I wasn't going to like it because stick shift driving is my thing, but this car has kind of changed my mind. I really do not mind how fast the shifts are at the touch of a button. It's, it's quite addictive. It's phenomenal. It really is. It is very, very addictive. <laughs> it is also fascinating because I've got a lot of these cars. I've got four of the, this platform S550, but all of them feel kind of floaty. This is one of the most planted Mustangs mm -hmm. that I've ever been in and felt. Yeah. Very, very cool. Did 
those cars are very cool. I'm not really? going to lie to you. I haven't really gotten to be around them or drive them or anything. That's They're lighter than what they look. Or it feels yeah. lighter than what it they look. It feels light. Yeah. 4,200 pounds. Yeah, it really. It's, 42. It's, yeah. I didn't know they were that so how's, heavy. How does yeah. it compare to the other car? Uh, I don't know. We didn't really get to do too much in either of them today. Unfortunately. Well, I mean, just like in the general driving that you were doing. How they're does it, they're how does clearly it very, very similar. They're clearly, yeah. I mean, the Shelby GT500 has clearly said, here's the Z01, we need to make it like that. Right. Like, because the Definitely Z01 came so. first. You mm -hmm. feel that. Um, I'd say, you know, the, the ride harshness is on a very even kind of yes. even level and the power feel, you know, the supercharged V8. Yeah, both twin screws. Instant torque, yeah. that type of thing, yeah. yeah. The one thing that took me for a surprise, though, is that car shifts lightning fast. Really? Like, yeah. blistering fast. Like McLaren Soon. fast? Yeah, it really is. It's, it's quick. We're able to very meet up. nice. Likewise, good Great to meet all you guys. Awesome speech. And uh, I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Thank uh, you for the drive. Yes, absolutely. If you ever come back this way, or if there's anything in the future that you want to do together, I would love to. Just let me know. 100%. I hope we get some better weather, get this run in, and put these up against one another, or misbehave in something like that. Sure, sure. Sounds good to me. Well, you right. guys have a safe drive, and let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thank you very All much, guys. Right. It's, a, it's, a, it's a thousand ways to die in LA. It's a thousand ways to die in LA. It's a 